Alright, hey guys, so really fast, I just wanted to show you all what I got from Nintendo World on my trip there for E3. And, um, I, it's not going to be a long video, because I didn't really get too much stuff. So, I did buy the Mario Keychain. Uh, I didn't know the price of it, but it was $4.99. It's actually a cool little keychain, I'll open it up real fast for you guys. Alright, so here's the Mario. Cool little solid plastic figure. It wasn't bad for $4.99. I'll stick them up on my shelf. Uh, there were others in that series too, if you didn't notice them there, but I just I just wanted the Mario. Next up is one of the shirts I got. You guys saw me mention this in my video that I definitely wanted to pick this one up. I just thought it was a really well-designed shirt with uh, all the Mario gang on there. With some less popular characters. I like how they had the enemies on there, so I thought that was pretty unique. And this shirt was um, $21, so... A little bit expensive, but I think it's well worth it. And the other shirt that I got was the Nintendo World shirt. I just wanted to get a shirt that was definitely exclusive to Nintendo World that had their name on it. And I thought this was the coolest one there. Not sure if I'll really wear this one out that much, but, you know, for collecting purposes and just a memory of going to Nintendo World, I thought that was pretty, pretty worth it. This one was also $21. Okay, and next is the Mario figure that I bought. This was the $14.99 vinyl figure. It is 9 inches tall. And the reason why, I mentioned um, instead of buying it on eBay and, you know, avoiding the fakes and everything, basically if you go on eBay and you search like Mario figure, Mario vinyl figure, there's actually a lot of sellers out there that sell reproductions and fakes and everything, so you have to be really careful. Um, one tip when you buy on eBay figures like this, Try and make sure that they come with their original box. If it's not possible to see the original box, check their seller ratings. Um, you know, just look at the overall paint quality. Ask the seller if this is an official piece of merchandise. If they don't respond to you, then you know it's a fake. If they respond and say, yes, my products are 100% official, then you know it's real. So, I picked this up. No, because obviously it's real. It was sold at Nintendo World. And uh, let me go ahead and open this up for you real fast. Alright, so I just got him out, and here he is. Pretty standard Mario figure, head moves, arms move. And uh, while I was taking him out, I just remember one more thing on eBay to look out for. When they sell the figures in large lots of like 15 or 20 pieces, and they sell them for like $100, $150, those are fake. When you see vinyl figures on there that are just a couple of dollars, buy it now, um, you know, and the deal seems too good to be true, most likely fake as well. So, there you go, that's the Mario figure. Pretty nice, not bad at all for $14.99. Okay, and next, I only got one mug, and you'll find out which one I got, because I mentioned that I wanted the Nintendo mug with all the characters, and I wanted the Zelda mug. I decided to just get the Nintendo World mug with all the characters on it, mainly because I just don't ever really see myself having a spot to put a whole bunch of mugs or two mugs as it is. And I just thought this was a really nice, well-designed piece of merchandise with the Nintendo World logo on there and all the Nintendo characters, a lot of them from the Mario universe. And uh, it was only $8.99, so I didn't think that was a bad deal at all. I'm not going to use this, I'll probably just stick it somewhere in here. And uh, it'll probably collect dust, but I'll dust it off and I'll appreciate it, so there you go. And the last two things I got, I told you guys I didn't get that much. I just got two magazines, I did get the Nintendo Power magazine. Um, because I wanted to read about the new Sonic game that was coming out, and it actually does sound pretty interesting. Um, so yeah, not much to say, a copy of Nintendo Power. And more interesting, though, I did get the official guide to The Legend of Zelda. Um, now what's cool about this is it actually goes over the whole entire series. I didn't get a, flip to look, uh, a chance to flip through here yet, but as you can see, it's probably pretty useful if you ever wanted to go over the Zelda series. I'm sure it's pretty accurate. Um, but this was $10, and I didn't think it was that bad. Oh, they put posters in here as well, but I already have mostly all these posters. So, there you have it, guys. Um, that was my trip to Nintendo World and the things that I bought. Hope you enjoyed the videos from there, and stay tuned for more.